All right. So uh, this is going to be Aquarius, uh, Sun, Moon, and as well a uh, rising weekly general tarot reading for October 5th to uh, October 11th, 2020. Welcome, guys, to the channel. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading or uh, taking participation into my tarot classes, uh, all the information you need is going to be listed down into the description below. So without further ado, uh, let's see what you are going to have for the week. The, the reading is completely general, so that being said, it can relate to literally anything that you are going through right now in terms of uh, life experience. Right, so uh, with the first one, uh, that we do have, which represents the very uh, topic and the theme of the week itself. Uh, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, wow, it's accompanied with the Hermit. So that's a big thing. Um, how I can uh, classify it. And it's literally what the these two cards here are ululating about is that you are going to be a subject of huge leap of development and that leap of development uh, is going to be thing that is pretty much meant for you to experience and not just only that but it gives solution it gives answers <sighs> it gives you purpose let's say it that way it, it truly gives you purpose now however there is a price that it is to be paid because with the hermit this leap that you are to do or rather like a, a progress here with the nine of pentacles which you know people related to money but nine of pentacles may not just only relate to money it could speak about relationship and if that's the case then that card points to the big fish one is about to catch you know to d1 especially with the uh hermit card here so it's very specific in regards to your situations that's why i'm saying leap of development because that development could be anywhere okay the thing with the hermit however it is that there won't be many to applaud you taking on that leap. So uh, a price that you will have to pay is probably, you know, letting go of certain people that cannot follow you anymore in that direction, direction that doesn't serve any purpose moving forward with, uh, with this growth that you are to pretty much experience. But yeah, I mean, throughout the week itself, you can expect in terms of career to strike big deals, to get good job, you know, in terms of relationships, to be uh, very uh, cheerful there and to have an extremely good experiences. Like I said, you can pretty much stumble upon the one as well. It, it does depend how uh, these cards apply to your situation will pretty much classify their uh, their manifestation in there the next one that we do have is uh, what holds you back and we do have an individual that is the queen of swords the accompanied card with the queen of wow that is going to be the king of wands so not just only this person is um, how can i say is uh, is powerful but is also a very ambitious Okay, and uh, how they are to hold you back? Well, I have a few guesses on my mind here. One of them it is that they hold you on a leash. They do have some kind of a leverage. Say you own the money. Say um, they helped you with something and now they will ask you to return the favor. Now, the thing with the Queen of Swords, it is that they can make things happen okay they they know how to push buttons they know how to uh further goals in this particular case their goal and also the thing is that you are a part of their goal and as i said you're gonna have your own leap into development right then how this fits with their goal well it doesn't and so this one here is gonna do whatever they can in order to deter you from chasing your leap of development or your goal okay and um, i could say thank god you do have here the hermit because the hermit is very powerful card and although um 
you may win a rather formidable enemy should you deny the Queen of Swords. I still your paths are highly unlikely to cross moving forward into the future for reason being is that this leap it is just yours it doesn't relate to anything probably that you are developing up until this moment so we can safely as well say that it's probably is going to be a, a new beginning for you to a certain extent now the thing with the queen of swords here and the king of wands that kind of like accompanies or as a um as a catalyst card um, how can I say it? It's um, these people are, are are very determined, and they kind of like are very capable of manifesting uh, unaffected actions, or rather, like a very powerful actions, and they don't see the wrong reasons behind them. So as soon as you identify that woman or that man, it will be best if you just, you know, sever ties in any way you can. The next card that we do have for you, uh, that will be the uh, Seven of Swords. This is what actually helps you. And it's accompanied with uh, the Six of Pentacles. So these two cards are saying just only one thing that you are to undertake your future within your own hands, but even goes beyond that. It also points that you are to bring in the, into that future all the dividends from the past. So this week here um, is going to be um, a very beneficial for you to ask for your rewards and to ask for whatever have been owed to you. And if you do have to... Um, how can I say, if you do have to storm those situations that people are denying you of your rightful belongings, then this is what you must do. For the Seven of Swords, test your spine. Test how willing you are to step your own, for your own personal rights. And as the card stands into this position, this is definitely what you have to do. To step for your own personal rights, um, at, for your individual rights, I'm sorry, to show strong backbone and to demand, not just ask, but as well demand what you have been owed by friends, by co-workers, by, how can I say, by, by, by supervisor, bosses, partners into relationships as well. For uh, Seven of Swords also relates to the self-righteousness and if you do feel that you are mistreated in any way, then you have to demand for a proper treatment. Just to give you an example, if you do feel that your um, wife isn't treating you accordingly to your uh, um, uh, to your incorporation into relationship, for example, you should demand, slam your fistful on the table and demand a proper treatment. Same thing that it relates to career and etc. etc. And with the uh, Six of Pentacles here, it pretty much points that you can skyrocket in the hierarchy. Okay, you don't have to be the one that is mother beneath the toe always. Probably uh, those cards are kind of like giving you, for the most of you guys, a hint that you actually work way more than you are placing a, a, a price on yourself and on your services, you know, on your presence and etc. etc. And you finally have to open your eyes and see actually the true price that you can put on yourself, on your love, on your, uh, on your skills, on your knowledge and etc. etc. Uh, the final card that we do have here does represent how the week is going to end for you. And we do have the Ten of Wands followed by the Moon card. So at the, at the end of the week, it's pretty much your path is to be revealed. I'm not going to jump into details about how the Moon is going to play a role with the Ten of Wands. Uh, because this is what I am explaining into my tarot classes. But here, what those two are pointing is that by the, by the end of the week, you are going to be pretty aware, you know, how and where, and, and as well with whom, if you will, all aspects of, uh, of the future endeavors are to be um, known to you, and you will be able to make the, uh, the plan, you know, the to go uh, to go to list and etc etc how to move forward. Now those two cards are pointing that a pretty busy future is awaiting you after this week ends. 
there will be a lot of responsibilities that you need to undertake there will be a lot of actions that you will have to perform as well there will be a lot of people probably that you will need to associate yourself with as well and all this is related to the leap into development so here i could say if you thought that it's going to be easy yes i mean the universe gives you an awesome opportunity but it never said that it's going to be an easy one and uh, the very first uh, predicament or the very first challenge that you will need to undertake is to deal with this individual that we do have here who is like i said very ambitious very tenacious and as well a formidable foe but should you be able to do so? Here we do have one consistency that pretty much allows you to determine your path moving forward, not to mention that at the end you are gonna end up exactly where you're supposed to be, okay? So this, uh, the new beginning that you are to uh, embark in this week leads you exactly in the destination that the universe determined for you and is gonna be a rewarding one for the 10 of ones as it stands it's yes it demands from you a lot of um, devotion it demands to you uh, to follow a certain code a code that the that the leap that the development will require but at the end it promises an, an awesome reward so it's not a question of are you going to be successful but it is a question of do you have what it takes to reach it for it is there for you and apart from this one here you are a bigger enemy to yourself than anybody else okay so stop making excuses but just step for your rights like said with these two cards okay storm your situation situations if you do have to and fix that injustice that you feel that is done to you and stick to your self-righteousness and do whatever that thing predisposed here whatever those two cards are talking about for that is all you got okay and uh, at the end you're gonna find yourself in a rather very good place so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh, for October 5th to October 11th 2020 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye